Good morning, everybody. I grew Love Homestead here. My name's Kimberly, and welcome back. Um, we're gonna do a video early this morning because it's kind of getting hot already. I think it's only like maybe 7.30, and it's already kind of humid out here. So I'm gonna do a video of, uh, good morning, girls. I'll let you out in a minute. I'm gonna do a video. We're gonna be harvesting some stuff today. So, um, well, them chickens been eating on that pumpkin. We gotta catch all these chickens to get them put back up. They keep getting out. Um, but today we're going to harvest some from our garden and um, I'm going to show you what we harvest kind of in a day. Ain't going to be very much today because I was doing it every other day. But um, let's get to harvesting some of this stuff. So this is this is our um, this is our okra, which you can tell that I have neglected it. Might be might be too big. Oh, might be too big, but we can always freeze it, put it in the freezer. Um, I'm going to check corn today, see if the corn is ready yet or not. And we're going to look over there, see we have our, a couple of our cantaloupes. They should be ready. So um, hang out, guys. See if I can get this to sit the way I want it to. Without it falling over. I should have brought my other stand. Yep. I should have brought my other stand. But let's see. I can probably do this with one hand. Rico, you gonna be my other hand, buddy? <laughs> I may have to go get my other stand to do this. The stand I'm using is kind of short. There's some down in here. See these down in here? These okras are big. I let them go too far. I've been busy the past couple days. I've been trying to get a... a a beehive from one of our neighbors <clears throat> I got it but I don't know if it's gonna stick around or do good well guess I guess we will find out won't we these okra they grow so quick there's another one Cut them and they pop off. It's funny. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna sit y'all down somewhere. And I'm gonna finish harvesting the rest of that okra because you need two hands for okra apparently. Don't worry, I can hear. I can definitely hear. No worries there. I don't know why this stand don't want to stand up today. Being a pain in the butt. I think my phone's too heavy for this stand, to be honest with you. I'm going to go inside and get my other stand. I'll be right back, y'all. anyways what I was telling y'all earlier was that I've been busy trying to catch um, a hive of bees from a neighbor up the street they were in a hollow log so I've been trying to I've caught them and I brought them back um, but I, I never found a queen so I'm just gonna kind of see if they make their own queen I just kind of have them in a box over here I'll show them to y'all a little bit but um, so I never really seen a queen um, but here in a few I'll show y'all um what they're they're kind of bearding out i don't know what's going on with them they're a little they're a little weird i hope something's eating this thing too didn't even see this over here it's okay we can cut it out and move along i'm gonna check this corn right quick hopefully y'all can still see me here last i don't think i don't think this corn's gonna do good it's already got uh, bugs eating them. I may just go ahead and pull this corn completely out. I already got one batch of corn, which I'm happy with that. Yeah, this has already got them worms eating them. 
Um, yep, yeah, it's already got them. I'm assuming that they're corn worms. I'm gonna put y'all over here and see. Y'all can see the corn. I'm pretty sure that they're corn worms. I'm gonna pick one off and I'll show you. So when you open your corn, they say that it's ready whenever it turns brown. When that, the way you can check to see if it's ready is that you can take your fingernail and you'll smash it in. If it's nothing but water, it means that it's uh, not ready. If it's creamy, it means that it's ready. See, this one was on the verge of being ready, but look at this. Well, he must have fell out. There was a big worm right here. So, in this case, we'll harvest this and see how it's not even... It's not really growing all the kernels. So, we'll technically, if they're all like that, I'll go ahead and pull everything. Throw that to the goats. I'll pull everything and uh, we'll just give it to the, to the animals. Nothing goes to waste around here, so... Let's check this one. Rico, what are you barking at? See, this one's got ants eating it. Yeah, we'll probably just go ahead and pull all this. It's not it's not got hardly any any kernels on it at all. I mean if the longer I leave it, sadly, if I leave it any longer, them ants and stuff are just gonna eat it. Keep continuing to eat it. There's ants here. And they're smaller heads of corn, too. Don't know why they stayed so small this time around. But, I don't know. Some things grow, some things don't. But I'm happy with my first harvest because I got 25 ears of corn off of the first one. Oh, there's another okra right there, too. Let me grab that okra. Put that in there. I don't see. Oh, there's another one down there. I see him sticking out. So we have spineless okra, or yeah, sp is it spineless? Where it doesn't have the pricklies on the outside. And then I do have some that are prickly on the outside. We don't eat much okra. I just freeze it and I put it out in my farm stand. See if anybody would want to buy it. Ooh, my little eggplant's growing. Surprised I've never grown eggplant before. But let's go over here, guys. I want to take y'all over here. Might have to pick this pumpkin right quick because apparently the chickens went to town on that. My stand is being funny today. Come on. So this is what happens whenever you let your. Well, I don't let them out, they fly over the fence. But what we can do is we can give it to the goats. This pumpkin is a natural dewormer for goats. At least the seeds and stuff are. Ain't it pretty? I don't know if I could throw them seeds out there and they'll grow again. Who knows? Well, my pumpkin's been doing really good this year. Except whenever the squirrels and the chickens get into them. Rico, what you barking at? Hush. Watch out. Through that to some of the girls. Through it to the girls. Hush, Rico, be quiet. You don't even know what you're barking at. Chickens like it too. Watch out, chickens. They're ready for breakfast, anyways. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go this way. I have to walk around with my big old stand. Still haven't figured out if I want to get a GoPro or not. It might be easier. Might have a smaller stand on it, not quite sure. Um, I do want to show y'all this, and hopefully y'all can see it pretty good. Right here is my loofah and my cucumbers. So, like I said, I planted my loofah down in here with my cucumbers. I didn't realize that my loofah was actually going to take off. I don't see any cucumbers right now. Which I'm okay with that because I already have, like I mentioned in the other video, I have a whole bunch of um, pickles that I made. There's one cucumber way down there. Little spider still lives in there. She's doing good. But yep. 
And then our great big pumpkin. Our pumpkin right here. She's huge. This pumpkin is huge, and she just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And then you have the one that's down here. She's big, too. Well, she's not as big as the other one, but she's still pretty big. And then there's one down there somewhere. There's one down in that area somewhere, too. And then that one, and then the one over there, the one that's this one, they hit it with a water hose and broke the vine. So, yeah. Let's go over here. This is my tomato, poor, poor little tomato patch. I guess the rooster got off of his thing. My poor little tomato patch over here. But, um, I don't know where. I guess I left my basket. Let's go this way. Oh, stuck. I want, today I want to harvest some green beans. Um, I was checking earlier and there are green beans in this patch. So I do want to harvest some of the green beans. Let's see if I can get y'all. There we go. That's better. It's going to look a little funny at the moment, but I'm going to grab my basket and we'll harvest some green beans. Okay, well apparently I don't know where I set down my basket. Oh, it was right there behind me. I know, I know. It's hot already, guys. I know. It's ridiculous. Okay, so let's see if we can get some green beans out of here. I haven't picked green beans in a while either. I say the more you pick them, the more they grow. So we need to pick green beans today because I haven't done it in a while. Been kind of trying to let the green beans, you know, just kind of grow. Whoopsie. Pull the whole friggin' vine off of that one. And some of them are ready. Some of them don't seem to be too big still. Come on. Now I did can one jar of uh, pickles, I mean pickles, of uh, green beans, whenever I first, my green beans first started out. And I haven't used them yet. I'll probably put them in a soup or something. But my little green bean plants are kind of small. I don't know if they're supposed to bush out more. I've never really grown green beans. So if there's any advice about green beans, I will take it. Everybody's angry this morning. I haven't made breakfast. And some of these, well, that one's got a few. It's got a small one. Now, next year on my green beans, I'd like to plant a whole bunch of them. And we just get a great big harvest of green beans. We, we eat green beans in soups and stuff like that. So, um, what is it? Uh, if we make mushroom soup and stuff. Or chicken and mushroom, excuse me, not mushroom soup. Uh, chicken and mushroom, we'll put that in there. Man, this plant had quite a bit of them on there. I'm really surprised. I do got some... Dang, it. I do got some uh, wax beans down in here, too. Oh, I broke that. That thing was tangled up and it came off. But I haven't seen any wax beans yet. Like I did get a couple, that's what's mixed in with my green beans from when I picked early in the season. But at, from there, I haven't seen any more growing just yet. I'm really glad I came out here to do this this morning. It's a little humid out here, but guess what? As long as we're in and out doing stuff, it's great. We, hopefully we're going to get some rain here. I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow, um, Saturday. I think it's supposed to rain all next week, as a matter of fact. So that'll actually help the garden. So I, over here I've been having to water two hours on one side of the garden, two hours on the other side of the garden. That's two times a day. So it's And then whenever you go in the afternoon, it, um, no, it's got a hole in it. It still is really, looks really dry like I hadn't even watered. This has got some on it. Ain't got very many. They're not big enough to pick yet.
There's a big one. Well, I don't get very many off these plants. Hopefully they'll, hopefully that rain that's coming in will help them out. I hear a, what are those things called? <coughs> well, Rico, you tell him, buddy. He's over there by the chickens. Well, that broke off. That's unfortunate. I don't know why they're breaking off like that. I think that plant's getting ready to die. I know y'all can't see what I'm talking about at the moment. I'm way down here, but... Okay. Alright, I think that's all the green beans we're going to get. we probably got maybe two handfuls of green beans. Take that out. Green beans. That right there, something was eating it. It's okay. I'll cut it off, and we'll move along. But, I'm going to turn y'all around. The goats. And, I know I've got some, hold on, I've got some cantaloupes down in here that need to get done, too. Oh, that's a roadrunner that I hear. We have roadrunners. And if you think that they don't look like tiny dinosaurs, they do. And they have teeth. So, them things are mean. They'll eat anything. They're not really mean. They just, they'll eat anything, literally. They eat snakes. They eat rats. They eat... Uh, baby chickens if you have them out <laughs> Go ahead and pick these two cantaloupes that way Them stinking chickens don't get into it like this one and some eating the watermelon come on Get out of here chickens. Y'all will be caught today. I'm gonna tell you that That was a watermelon Three cantaloupes so far I've been getting quite a quite a bit of cantaloupes. I can't say that I haven't been harvesting cantaloupes because I have. Oh, I see one. Wait, yep, nope. that one's overdue. I didn't see that one. So the goats will get a sweet treat for that. When they hide in this tall grass, sometimes I don't see them, and they just get way too yellow. Hopefully next year. I got my tiller running. It's so over next year. After we let the goats hang out over here, um, I'm going to set this basket over here. It's kind of heavy. I'll bring y'all down this way. Whew. Anyways, we're going to let the goats out where this garden area is. And um, we're going to let them munch down everything. And then, I don't know why my camera is being weird. And then, uh, next year... Hopefully, it'll be a totally different scenario. That's all the cantaloupes that we got. One, two, three, four. See that big yellow one, this one? It'll be given to the goats. Chickens are fighting. Wanting their breakfast, apparently. I've got some honeydew melons, I think they're called out there. But, um... I can't get, fa I can't get to them fast enough because the, those stinking chickens keep eating everything. And sadly, I might have to move. I'm going to have to cut off the chickens to half. Because they have way too big of an area. And they don't need that big of an area. Let me take this off this basket. Because I still need to go on the other side and check on tomatoes and stuff. Man, it is hot already. I'm sweating already. Sweating already, and I've only worked in the garden for maybe 10 minutes. Texas is just going through a heat wave right now. Um, Texas is going through a heat wave right now, and it's awful. Like, we had a West Nile virus uh, out here where I live, and the, unfortunately, that person uh, passed away because of it. But I try not to be out. Too long in the day. There's the bees. That's not the new ones. That's my nook. And they're doing great. But let's harvest some tomatoes. Look at all these cherry tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes everywhere. Cherry tomatoes everywhere. I love cherry tomatoes. I have so many. Unbelievable. 
I can't give them away fast enough. This plant has been producing like crazy with these cherry tomatoes. Look all in there. Nothing but cherry tomatoes. That one's got a little bit of water damage or whatever you want to call it. And it oops. I dropped one. And yes, I picked the ones up I dropped off of the ground because you can wash them. They're hard to get to. I haven't been having to tie this one up so many times. It's got two stakes in it. Oh, I picked the green one. It's got two stakes in it. It's climbing on the fence back there. See, there's more cluster down in here. I hear a mosquito. Get off me. Oh. This one hasn't given anything since I got that one great big one off of there. She hasn't given anything since then. See, this one's just taking over this other one. That might be the reason why I ain't getting anything off of that one. More tomatoes. I have tomatoes running out of my ears. Oops. I gotta get out here and I'm gonna last night I watered a little bit, but I'm gonna water some more today. See, I've been kind of busy and I haven't really been well, I've been keeping up with the watering, but uh, yesterday I didn't didn't keep up with the watering. Let's pick some of the I gotta fix this plant. Let's pick some of these serrano peppers too. I need to come out here and stake him up too, apparently. Sit y'all down right there. Hopefully it'll stand up. A lot of serrano peppers on this. There are cicada flying around. Lots of serrano peppers. I do need to get out there and put a little stick on there. She gets it gets so heavy that he starts bending down like that. And bees must be pollinating that plant really good. Got some jalapenos over here, they're not ready. More serranos. More serrano, more serranos. Need to make a green salsa. Now my tomatillos, I still don't have any uh, tomatillos on them. They should already have uh, fruit on them. They have nothing. They were in full blossom, but I don't know why they didn't produce any fruit. show you take you over here I want to show you my bell peppers whoop something's happening in that one bell peppers I picked some the other day and I made some chicken fajitas now guys I still don't know what this pepper is I don't know what happened to the tag so if anybody knows or knows when I'm supposed to pick that um, please comment down below and let me know I don't know exactly what it is I don't know if it's a hot pepper, if I need to pick it already or not. Let's go check on. There's another little serrano pepper. I'm going to go ahead and pick it. But, let's get a basket. Let's get this one here. I don't know if she gets too much sun or not enough water. But she's turning a little brown. So I need to come out here in this afternoon and trim it up. These, I pick these early. Sometimes I pick those early because I won't get any if I don't. Oops. Any more? I'm going to leave that one that's there. There's a couple of them on there. I'm going to leave. I need to pick some of them green ones so I can make a salsa. My little habanero plants are turning. I need to stand this one back up. That's where that ant pile was. I need to stand her back up. But, I'm uh, pretty sure that that ant pile is gone. I doused it with a bunch of DE, and I just let it sit. And then I came back out, and I kicked it around with my foot. And, ouch. Stick poking me. And I kicked it around with my foot, and I didn't see anymore. So, we don't use pesticides in our garden. DE is the only thing that I will use. Um, and it's a, a organic, it's like an organic 
um, instead of putting like spray and stuff on there, you can just spray glue. It's a powder, but the only thing bad about that is if it gets wet, it no longer works. My little habanero plants. Man, you, I can hear them bees all the way over here. Oh, I was trying to get a picture of that. And my hand got in the way. Sorry, I'm trying to get a picture of this. Yeah, them bees, I can hear them bees. They are so active. Okay, and then I have a question about my cucumbers. So the other side, my cucumbers do great. Over here, I've only gotten two cucumbers, and I found them too late. And they were too big, you know, to harvest, so I gave them to the rabbits. But I, that's the only two that I've gotten from this from this plant. And I don't know if this is a male plant or what. So right now, there's no cucumbers. There's all kind of flowers, but there's no cucumbers. I don't understand that. I don't know what that sound is. Oh, I guess he's planting my trees in the front. That's nice of him. I got some crepe myrtle trees, or bushes. I'm assuming that he's planting them. Probably need to go up there and help him. So my, dark, my garden's doing pretty good, guys. I um, wasn't going to do like another garden tour just yet, because I just did one. But I wanted to show y'all that we do harvest stuff out of our garden. If anybody thinks that we don't, we do harvest stuff out of the garden. Um, and we do get quite a bit. It's mainly tomatoes at the moment. But, and basil. I picked basil the other day, too. And, um, I, um, I froze some of it. And I want to cut some down. And I, wanna, I want to uh, sit it out and dry it. Like I have my mint drying right now. Let me see. Let's see if I can. Let me see if I can sit y'all down right here. My phone is too heavy for this little stand that I have. Sometimes she falls over. But let's see. I want to harvest some of this. Because I want to hang it out and dry like I did my mint. Because I have plans for my mint. I'm going to make a tincture out of it. And basil, this basil has been doing really good. But I think it's time to trim back. Woo, there's a big grasshopper right there. Get your butt out of here, mister. I don't know where he, oh, there he went. But, yeah. So let's harvest some of this. Oh, that's the neighbor's goat bringing a visit. And my little garden partner, Rico. Huh, <laughs> ye mom's garden partner? Hmm? Your mom's garden partner? Yeah. And he keeps the goats in check. I found some more tomatoes on this one that I missed. So, let's grab these. Because today, I probably will make a salsa today. I'm trying to be on a better diet with what we eat and stuff. I'm not sure if salsa's considered better, but hey, it sure does taste good. I'm going to go down here. What do I do with them scissors? There they are. I'm going to come to my other basil plant. I'm going to cut off some of that. You have three basil plants. They're supposed to be good to keep bugs away. Well, y'all clearly just seen there was a big old grasshopper in here. And I don't know really... Oh! I don't really know if basil comes back again. But if it does, I'm fine with that. I'm going to string these up and let them dry. He's got the auger out there. Probably planting my trees. Okay, Miss Garden Spider. Oh, look, guys. She's awfully big. Look. Hopefully y'all can see that. Garden spider. Hopefully y'all can see that. Hopefully she's the one that's been keeping out all the bugs. I haven't seen too many bugs in the garden. I see, you know, like that one grasshopper. But I haven't seen very many other than that. Let's see if I can push this. Nope. 
this plant is just so heavy it's falling over I'm okay with the garden spiders it's the tarantulas that I don't like I don't like the tarantulas I'll, I'm gonna hang all this basil out that'll be great and it's gonna smell really good inside the house hmm but my tomatillos, guys, they are not doing good at all. I don't understand why. Because you're supposed to have two, whatever age, you're supposed to have two to pollinate. But I guess if you get end up with two males, they're not going to pollinate. I don't know, y'all. Take you all here so you can see the bees right quick. In and out, in and out, all day long. Easy girls. I got another brooder box and a honey box on there. I don't want them to start seeing that I'm sweating. And they start coming after you if you're sweating. Whoops. Oh, let me check this one. Fixing to turn the water hose on. This plant right here, she's as tall as I am. And I'm not very tall. I'm probably about five one. But she's also in a pot. But she's been doing she's been doing really good. I'm going to pick her one beautiful little fruit here. I love tomatoes. I can eat a tomato made her sandwich like you wouldn't believe. I love it. My sage didn't do good. It got too hot. And that's with me watering it. I have been watering it and it has still hasn't done really well. Oh, let's check out the turtles. Turtles! What's those turtles you're doing? You ready for your breakfast too? I haven't decided if I want to change out that mucky water or not. I mean, turtles kind of live in mucky water, I think. I don't know. I just fill it up every now and then. And I'm going to go pick some. I want to go pick some of my flowers. I picked some the other day. I do want to pick some. Or cut them. Because if you cut them, they grow more. So, and I would like to enjoy them in my house. This one's so pretty. It's like a fire orange. And that one fell because there was a bag laying on it. And this one, she's pretty. Oops, sorry, guys. She's pretty. She misses it. Oh, no. I thought she was missing some of her leaves. But I am going to... I'm going to cut her down. I don't know. Cut her down, but, you know. I'll go up there and help you in a minute. And then all my sunflowers. Still have tons of sunflowers. I've taken out sunflowers, sadly. Let's see if I can sit y'all on this right here. Maybe I can see all them sunflowers. I'm going to cut this little flower right here. There's a little spider on that flower. And we also cut some sunflowers for the bouquet. These goats act like I don't hear them. And I'll come over here and I'm going to pick those other ones. I'm going to feed you in just a minute. It's only probably 9 o'clock, if that. You're not starving to death. Bees are out here pollinating. Woohoo! These flowers are so pretty. I will plant these again next year. I don't know if zinnias come back on their own or not, but I will plant them again next year. They're so pretty. And the bees really like them. I I can see that. Aren't they pretty? And it's all purples. I didn't realize that. They're all purples. They have that one fire orange one. It's going to be sticking out in the middle. Oh, come on. There we go. Pretty. Very pretty flowers. Yep. I like them. But that's our that's our video guys. We'll catch y'all next time.